Right, uh, one thing everyone's been talking about with this new Logic 9 is this Flex. Flex it DJ, flex it. It ain't that type of flex, it's this new liquid audio thing uh, that Logic has put in, which is called Flex. So as there's no manual for it, I sat down last night and uh, I had a little schmuck and uh, this is what I discovered. Okay, basically I've got um, an Apple loop that I dragged into the timeline and uh, I did a scat vocal over it, just no actual words, just gibberish. Um, just wanted to be do something rhythmic vocally over that beat and it sounds like this. Yeah. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put on the flex, which you do here, this flex icon. If you don't use this main menu bar, it's here, view, flex view, and uh, I haven't assigned a key command to it yet, but I will. So you put on your flex view, and it's like putting on track automation. The regions grey down uh, to the amount of opacity exactly the same as they've been set to grey down to in the track automation, you know, in the preferences here, display. Um, automation transparency okay. and you can see these little light grey vertical lines on the transients and they're the transient markers these are not flex markers they're transient markers okay and uh, just like with track automation a little slot appears uh, you know like in track automation this would be for volume you know where you select volume pan or whatever um, in this case this allows you to turn flex off for the whole track or to choose one of these algorithms for the whole track. Slicing, rhythmic, monophonic, polyphonic, tempo phone or speed and they're all different algorithms. So I'm going to work with slicing. I was mostly messing around with slicing last, last night. Um, okay so you put your flex on, you put your flex on and um, yeah the graying happens and the vertical transient markers appear which are assigned automatically and detected automatically. Um, Shol, um when it's like that there's one other thing and that is that if you deselect and you select one region up here in the region parameter box you can actually turn flex off for individual regions so it, you can assign it for the whole track um, to a particular type of flex and then turn it off on the regions you don't want it on. Although why you'd want to do that I don't know. But you can anyway. Okay. Okay, so once your flex is on, you can flex on bomb and grind and you can increase your tempo and then everything just follows. So just whack it up to 131 and uh, all the waveforms become green showing you that they are being speeded up. Yeah. Okay, notice this waveform here, this region, actually expanded in length when I speeded up the tempo. Look, and it's getting shorter now as I decrease the tempo. Well, it's not getting shorter, it's moving, and that's because this has not got flex switched on, right? Okay, so that's what happens when you speed it up. And I must say, if I speed it up to 130 from 1, or actually, not quite so mad, let's say 120 from 110, and just listen. It's doing it quite well. Uh, this is the vocal with slicing on. Yeah. Too thick or too far. What you got to know? Yeah, yeah. And the slicing makes it a bit. But if I change this to monophonic, which is a low CPU one apparently, which is supposed to be okay for vocals, have a listen. Yeah. Too thick or too far. What you got to know? Yeah, yeah. I must say it's handling these pushes in that sustain quite well, isn't it? Um, I know I've got that. Um, I've got this um, vocal effect on. Let me take that off. Just, just. Hang on. Oops, which button is it? I forget. Uh, yeah, just take off the EQ. Uh, have a listen to it now. Hang on. Yeah. Too, too, too far. Yeah, take off the guitar amp as well. And the limiter, I'll just leave the compressor on. 
Have a listen. Yeah. Too, too good to fight. What you got to know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. It's pretty damn smooth, isn't it? Um, rhythmic gives me this effect. Yeah. Too, too good to fight. What you got to know? Yeah. yeah it's a bit more. Go away, cat. I'm doing a video. That's a bit more. Uh, must be feeding time. Um, that's a bit more jerky, isn't it? Because it's rhythmic. But I'll put it into uh, polyphonic, which apparently is a bit more of an intense algorithm. Uses more CPU. Let's, let's listen to that. Yeah. Too too good too far. What you got to know? Yeah yeah yeah. Hmm. And this is monophonic. Yeah, too too good too far. What you got to know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, this vocal I had to to capture the video and the vocal at the same time and everything. I had to record this through the line input on the Mac, so it's a bit poppy here and there, and not very good quality. But I must say that's very smooth algorithm for speeding up ten beats. I'm gonna go up. Look, I'll go up now to. 128, which is 18 beats faster. Now I've listened to it now. Uh, I'm just talking about where it's smoothing these pushes in this sustained bit. It's quite good. Yeah. Too too good too far. What you got to know? Yeah yeah yeah. That's not bad at all, is it? Anyway, so that's what it does. I'll put the tempo back. It speeds up, and when you speed up. The waveforms are circled or bordered in green because you're speeding up, and if you slow down, they speed it down right quite a lot from 110 to 95. They become circled or bordered in orange because you're slowing down. Yeah. Too, too, good, too far. What you got to know? Yeah, yeah. Yes, and with the beat, it sounds like this. Yeah. Too, too, good, too far. What you got to know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not bad at all, is it really? I'll right, put it up to 110 again. Okay, so that's your basic flex on off and how you do your stretching and things. And of course, if you knock one or more of the regions out of flex mode using the region parameter box here, knock it out of flex mode, if I then increase the tempo everything else flexes and stretches but not that one alright so that is your basic flex